who who inspired you? Because you ain't really come in the game with a style that nobody had. The biggest, a lot of people did, bro. I fought with a lot of people, but the biggest inspiration was that nigga Wayne. Mm -hmm. But the way that he got them greeted me, that's that's like the second. That's like really the main reason why I, all I never got them. I always had in my mind like I never in my life treat another person like this, cause it's not like a real nigga. It's not like how you treat. You gotta got them. I ain't even get a chance. I'm like man, I at least gotta give everybody a chance. Like I can't just exist. Nigga, you got them this, you buying it, nigga, woo woo, out of the, out of the, you know, just a mean, aggressive shit. I ain't doing that shit, cause goddamn, I know I'm a real player. Right. And I know I ain't really get a fair chance. Right. The nigga that inspired me. So, so, like, okay, so you see him, you inspired, you walk up, you like, what's up, Wayne? What's up, Weezy? I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm the newest member, what's up, man? And it was just like, what's up, nigga? Man, that nigga got down the first day, the first day that nigga got down, then dap, then dap me up. Oh, just left you hanging? Didn't dap you up? Tried me. Mm. Nigga tried my pimpin'. <laughs> Damn. I'm, I'm like, I'm like, twenty. I be really be stuck. Got them real sh Now my motherfucking feet hurt. Nigga, I'm a real stepper. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't do me like that. I'm tripping. <laughs> Man, nigga. Left my pimpin' hanging. Left it, hold on. Left the pimpin' hanging. I'm just like, just right there, just. He probably had them, he probably had some dark, he probably had them chrome hearts on. Mm hmm You right. Cool. Then got them, you know, it just kept going on. One time I dapped him up. This is how he dapped me. That one, like, I'm like, hey, listen, bro. If I touch your hand again, I'm on my hoe anyway. Mm -hmm. right. <laughs> I'm never touching your hand again. Right. Just off of that, like, bro, right. you tripping. Nigga, I'm a player, and I'm a real player. And right. and, and I don't get no fuck. Nigga, I ain't nothing, nothing about me, no group, no nothing. Like, right. I'm just a real nigga. Right. You inspired me. Right. Bro, that nigga, you know, like, but you know, like, a lot of that shit come from like, you know, being spoiled and shit. You know, I can't never accept that. Like, all, everybody always try to make me accept like the spoiled situation is like hell no, nah, cause at cause at at one point I was spoiled. Mm -hmm. I sh I'm still a man, nigga. I still got them know how to treat a man, nigga. I still got man tactics. Absolutely, like, ain't, ain't ain't no ain't that much spoiled in the world. Right. My kid's spoiled right now, but my son, nigga, a real gangster. Right, and this if he get out of line, if he get out of line, do something like he gonna get he gonna get put in a place that no, we don't roll like that. We don't do that. We don't operate like that. Hell no, nah, nigga. See, one thing, one thing I always do is I lead with respect. Respect, respect, respect. Love, love, love. You feel what I'm saying? I That's lead real with shit. respect. So understand if I ever got to go through it with a nigga, I don't, I don't give a fuck the consequences on your side because you the reason why we going through this. 100%. 100%. So what it, I don't give a fuck about the consequences on your side because I don't fuck with motherfuckers. Right. I lead with respect. Right. So if me and you beefing. It's gotta be because of you. Gotta be. If I'm a young nigga, um, 